Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to Alta. This is the golden gap to the bullish side for the day. And really, actually, uh, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bullish gap here. Uh, you know, Alta was one of these plays where if you didn't know how to read gaps correctly, you might have thought this was a fade simply because of the fact that the stock had closed the night before at $100.16 and opened today at like $114.10. So, you know, that's a $14 gap up and people may have tried to fade this. In fact, I'm sure that people did. We were going over this early in the trading room in the morning because uh, I showed where someone could have shorted it and how you have to see the gap correctly to know to take the entry right in the right direction. This was a long today. I actually called this as a long today beautifully. I mean, absolutely beautifully. <laughs> and even with the big stop that it had, uh, it actually is a four hour trade here. And to the target, it's like six to seven or eight, wherever it goes. Target for this today is $120. I actually think it gets there. It's, you know, almost getting here into two o'clock in the afternoon. And the reality is that this got all the way up to the first target, which was 118. And it actually got over 118. And so 120 is very likely even here today. And this did this all, all of itself, all of its own accord without the market. So it's a beautiful, very strong, nice trading gap. And the way that it held here so bullishly in the morning was great. And actually right here and here now, this is this is actually setting up like a breakout play. Now, you, there's no entry here. There's nothing to do. Um, this could do a tail and then do it. But this looks like it's getting ready to break out. And if it does, it'll go to 120 lickety split without any problem at all and no hesitation. Here was the morning. I, you know, I recently wrote a class on entries, and one of the very important things about trading, well, there's two, there's two things that are important. One is having a correct strategy, which means picking the right stock symbol to trade in the correct direction, reading the trade for the stock that you're going to trade to take it in the correct direction. In this case, this is a golden gap, a bullish gap to trade to the upside to buy, not to short. The direction is to buy this, not to short it. It is a bullish gap and it is a high quality bullish gap. It was 21 points. So if you're watching this in the day, you're looking to buy this, not to short it. I'm sure traders did short this and thought it was a short to come in to some crazy number that they thought it would, but it didn't do it. Why would they have wanted to do that? Because people don't understand how to read gaps. And again, the key to entries is knowing how to take something like this aggressively to get paid in it to have the risk to reward, number one. And number two, knowing not to kill it if it does something like what this did here. This is actually an entry to go short if you wanted to short this. I didn't do it. I would never do this. This is a terrible short, but this is what people do. They're shorting this in here. But actually, what is this? This is the confirmation to go long. So you take a thousand people and you line them up in a room. If you clip this chart and took a thousand people and line them up in a room, this is a one minute chart based on the gap today in Alta. Who, how many people would have gotten this right? This is the play then there. Where would they have seen it? What would they have done? You probably you would have had a thousand different examples. Who's the one that actually has the correct answer? The one that calls the trade with the best risk to reward, with the correct entry, the correct stop that holds and doesn't get stopped out. The one that gets the trade in the right direction, that reads the gap in the right direction, that gets paid and does the trade before it goes. Anybody can see this is a long now. The idea is to get the trade before it sets up. I mean, before it actually has the momentum, when it sets up. So, you know, this is what I teach in the entry class. This was a long today. This was a, actually a very nice, solid entry to go long. And people were shorting this in the topping tail here. Maybe somebody shorted this in the open. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody shorted this in the open or here or even here. Okay. But it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bullish gap. Never broke the low of the day and isn't going to. The follow through higher is on this here today into the into the close, into four o'clock. It's going to close looking exactly like this or something even more bullish. There's no way this doesn't close looking like this. So if this comes in a little bit here, it's going to flip on up and through and run up into the close. This is going to close looking very much like this. This is Alta, the bullish golden gap for Friday, September 13th. And, you know, it is a great example of why you have to understand how to take quality entries and trades. Number one is getting the strategy right, which is picking the correct stock in the correct direction.
You won't be able to pick a stock symbol correctly on the data plane in the right direction if you can't read trends or don't have a strategy to do it. So you gotta have that first. But then after that, you still have to know how to take entries right. Because if you don't know how to take entries right, it's going to be challenging for you to make money, even if you get the direction right, because you won't know where to get in, you won't know where to put the stop, you won't have any defined risk, and you may also miss the trade, or get in late, or get in too early, and then you're down before it goes. There's a whole host of reasons why you must enter trade, trades correctly. And there are people that actually have directions right on certain stock symbols, but because of poor entries, lack of money management, bad stop placement, and taking trades at things they think are entries but are not entries, and then therefore even putting a stop at the incorrect place because it really was an entry where they entered in the first place, that people get stopped out and actually lose money, even if they read the direction right. So you must have both. You've got to be able to pick the stock symbol, get the direction right in the overall trend, and take the trade correctly. What is that? mean entering it right, putting the stop at the right place and getting out. And people who don't like to take stops is just because they don't understand what a stop means, the purpose of a stop, or how to take trades right in order to enter them. A stop defines your risk. You must have a defined risk in trading. Otherwise, your risk is limitless, and that cannot be. That is not the way to trade and have a correct business plan. However, you do have to be skillful in taking entries, and I really nailed this thing today. It really, really, it was gutsy, uh, but I absolutely nailed it, and uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful call, beautiful trade, beautiful gap. You know, this is a late entry on this thing in here now, but this is definitely higher, no questions about it in here um, for the longer term for this thing. It's made its mark. Today is the answer. Talk about reading directional uh, institutional money in the correct direction is exactly what I do with this today. I read the gap and it told me that institutions are buying this. This is new buying, new money today in the gap, new buying. You do not fade this. You do not short it. There's no such thing as a gap fill. It doesn't work. There's nothing to do. The, there's no one even taking profits in this. It's new buying today. There's no one taking profits. There's nothing to sell out of. There's This is new buying. You see? Beautiful bullish gap. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on the entries course, it is this coming week, September 18th and 19th, Wednesday and Thursday from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock Eastern Time. If you're interested, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. And if you would like information on the upcoming gap course, email me for current upcoming dates. My email is melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.